Welcome, guys. What's up, what's up? All artists here. Yeah. Bacardi and Dean Collection, Art of Hustle, Round Table. That's where we at. Now, Swiss, can I start with you? I mean, how do you feel when people try to define you? I feel honored and blessed to, for people to even be thinking about me, you know, coming from where I come from in the South Bronx and to be able to uh, resonate across platforms, you know, whether fashion, music, visual arts. I think I'm finding my purpose on my journey as well, you know? It's beautiful that we're sitting down and the theme is the art of hustle. There's a few things in this world that are completely outside of your control. The only thing you can really control is how hard you work, how hard you work for it. Whether it be who I met, you know, uh, a good gallery, a connection, a good city, these are all nuanced things that really you have no control, whether it be chance, luck, circumstance. But the one thing you control that nobody can take from it is how hard you work for it. I'm from Japan, Tokyo originally. People love art, but nothing happens there. Oh. Simple math, where do I go? The center of art, it was New York. Finding out there's way too many artists to compete. <laughs> so you can be in studio and paint, but nothing happens. So you gotta find, go out there and find your opportunity. The hustle. Yeah. I mean, I guess in any creative industry, right? So then what you do is you start to meet, make friends. You start to meet people, network yourself, and just kind of leads one to another. That's what's up. You can live with failure, but you can't live with what if. Yeah. Good one's true, man. Art also comes with purpose. I think they go hand in hand. And if you've been given that talent to create, then I think you also have to search inside yourself for the purpose that you've been given. That's a responsibility. Yeah. I've always loved rap as a consumer, but I don't think I even knew that I had the talent in me. I think no matter what it is, you gotta like really want it first and foremost. Yeah. So it all starts with like a burning desire, I suppose. And it's really like a do-it-yourself culture right now. Like I was able to do Kickstarter. My whole mixtape I made in my room. I just did it all on my computer myself. So, so we gotta erase the lines. Yeah, exactly. The cream rises at this point. And I think in music, in the art community, more stuff like this happening is just gonna become the precedent. And once we establish these precedents, then it will become the norm. And it's for the best. And one thing I give to Bacardi's credit, you know, they really understood the passion. It's amazing to have a partner that really understand it and that's committed to grow. They're on, the, they on the good checklist for me. So right. Cheers to Bacardi. All right, cheers to Bacardi. Right. Cheers to Bacardi. <laughs> I give them a cheers on that. All right.